during his three and a half seasons in the Turkish Airlines Euroleague, no player has buried more three-point shots at a higher percentage or has scored from the arc more frequently while on the court than Real Madrid's JC Carroll. His talented hands helped Carroll discover his calling as a sharp shooter at a young age growing up in Wyoming. It started out a long time ago. One game in particular in high school really stood out. Um, we, were, we were on the road playing, and uh, for some reason that night, I ended up making uh, I made 14 three-pointers on uh, 16 attempts. Um, that was a real shot of confidence to my basketball game, my shooting ability. And, you know, since then, I kind of had in my head that, uh, you know, I could, I could keep trying to go to the next level. Carroll did not take his talent for granted. Rather, he used it as stimulus to train even harder and to his own very exacting standards, as when he put up more than 20,000 shots one summer while at university. I'm a really, really goal-oriented person. I love basketball, but uh, I don't like going to the gym and wasting time. So, yeah, I'd sit down every Sunday and I'd, I'd come up with a, a weekly goal and a daily goal and specific shots I want to shoot each day, and I documented it. I right, shot 23,000 and uh, I made 21,960 of those attempts. So um, it was very well documented. It's all on my laptop and uh, it's a good story to kind of motivate young, young players as they start to come up. By making it part of his daily routine, Carroll developed the kind of habits that have led him to become one of the most consistent shooters in the pro game. If you're a young person, you're coming up, uh, and you really want to play basketball, you, know, you, you need to set your mind to it. You need to have goals, specific goals, and be dedicated. Um, you know, I had a great, great child, I had a great, great time this summer, but um, I'd always make sure and spend an hour, hour and a half a day um, practicing basketball before I ran off and did something with uh, my family or friends. I always had a girlfriend and stuff, and uh, you know, they always just had to understand that uh, I had to dedicate a part of my day to, to basketball. The precision with which Carroll practiced alone was just as important as how much time. He focused on the shots he knew that he would be taking in games. I always, um, I knew what, my, what plays my coaches were going to run for me um, in, in college and in high school and, and now uh, here at Madrid. I know, I know the kinds of shots I'm going to get. So in my day-to-day -day workouts, I make sure to shoot a lot of those shots. Coming down off of, um, off of down screens, um, catching one dribble jumpers, but a, a lot of transition shots and that kind of thing. So just you just got to know um, where your shots will come from and practice those. During the professional season, playing two games a week, there isn't as much time for taking practice shots in the thousands. But Carroll is always analyzing his game to know when a tune-up is needed. After practice, uh, it depends on a lot with what's happened the game or two before that. If I've made a lot, I'll shoot a lot less, but um, if, I, if I haven't made any shots for a while, um, you know, I'll grab one of the coaches and, uh, um, and easily shoot 100, 200 after, after a practice. Long years of studying his craft have led Carroll to some conclusions about what elements make a great shooter. One, I think uh, mechanics are really important. Um, you know, finding a good shooter and uh, trying to mimic what that, the style of, of shot he takes. Um, I think, uh, you know, dedication, uh, taking the time to, to practice your skill. It takes a lot of shots to become a very good uh, shooter. And lastly, uh, confidence. You know, I don't know if that's a skill, but, uh, you know, mentally something that all basketball, uh, basketball players need to have, but especially uh, uh, shooters. You know, confidence that you'll, you'll make the shot and uh, confidence that uh, if you miss one or two, the next one will go in. Carroll is not immune to some superstitions common to his profession, but years of dedication are what add up to performances like the career-high 32 points he scored earlier this season on 7-for-9 three-point shooting. When you come in the game and uh, the first shot goes in, um, it takes a little pressure off the next one. And uh, So yeah, if you make the first one, the first two, uh, the game seems to get a lot easier after that. And when that happens, how big does the basket start looking to the Wyoming shooting star, J.C. Carroll? <laughs> uh, well, like a swimming pool. 